What's good, YTBC? What's good, fight fans, boxing heads around the world? B Marsh with another boxing video. So, you know, on this particular day, man, you know, August uh, 7th, 2016, we've got to give a big rest in peace to the schoolboy, Bobby Chacon, or is it Chacon? Bobby Chacon was a guy who, you know, he's a guy, whenever I think of Bobby Chacon or remember him, um, you know, rest in peace to him, you know, but um, whenever I remember him, I always think about guys like um, at the Super Featherweight in the in the 80s, you know what I mean? You know, he definitely had uh, plenty of fights with the guy Rafael Limon, you know what I'm saying? Rafael Leon, Limon was also a champion um, in the 80s, just like Bobby Chacon was at Super Featherweight, you know what I mean? WBC, you know, I always think of him. I think of four guys when I think of Bobby Chacon in the in um in the eighties. I think of Bobby Chacon, Raphael Lamont. Um, I think of ba Bazooka Edwards, and no, nah, I'm sorry, Carlos Bo uh, uh, Cornelius Boza Edwards. I was thinking about um, Bazooka Lamont, Co um, Cornelius Boza Edwards, and of course I also think about um, Hector Camacho. You know what I mean? Because all four of these guys I mentioned, they all held that um. That WBC 130 pound strap, super featherweight, you know what I'm saying? And one thing about Bobby Chacon, Bobby Chacon, his style, man, this guy was a fan favorite, man. This guy was a balls to the wall going all out and just straight up and down a fighter, you know what I'm saying? The schoolboy was a guy from, uh, where was, he was from California, I'm not too sure where, but I know he was from this uh, Southern California, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, you know, he was a guy, you know, he's in the Hall of Fame and well-deservedly so, you know what I mean? So, unfortunately, the Boxing Hall of Fame, they lost another one of their members, and uh, that's um, Bobby Chacon, you know what I'm saying? Bobby Chacon was a guy who, um, you know, he had some good victories in his career, you know what I'm saying? He beat Danny Lopez, man. He beat the great Danny, Danny Lopez, Little Red um, Danny Lopez, you know. He was also another fan favorite from... Um, Southern California, and that's a fight that um, fight fans wanted so bad back when, and these two gave it to us, and you know, Danny Lopez was a guy who, he ain't lose too many fights, you know what I'm saying, Danny Lopez was a, was was the real deal, you know what I mean, that's why he, he's in the Hall of Fame, and you know, them fellas, um, what's his name, Bobby Chacon, he got a victory over him, so you know, that's a uh, big respect to him for that, you know what I'm saying, and you know, them fellas, he always had, um, you know, the, the, I think um, Bobby Chacon, I think when Danny Lopez and Bobby Chacon fought, I think it was at, uh, what you call it? I think it was at um, at uh, Featherweight, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that was at Featherweight because he fought at three weight classes, you know what I'm saying? And was a champion in two at uh, Featherweight and... Um, and super featherweight, you know what I'm saying? And beating Danny Lopez, like I said, that's a tremendous feat because, you know, Danny Lopez was a guy who lost to Salvador Sanchez twice, you know what I'm saying? You know, in some great fights, you know what I mean? Salvador Sanchez, he stopped him in both fights, but they both went all the way almost to the distance. You check it, you know what I'm saying? So that was a good victory for him, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, he fought, he fought Rafael Limon, you know, he fought him four times, you know what I'm saying? I believe he beat him twice, and one was a draw, and I think one, the first time they fought at featherweight, that was a loss, you know what I'm saying? He took a loss to um to the man, um, uh, Bazooka Rafael Limon, you know what I'm saying? And you know, th them fellas, him and Rafael Limon, they got a, they rivalry is one of the best in boxing history ever. It's on the same levels as, um, as uh like Jake Lamada and Sugar Ray Robinson or Pacquiao and and uh and then Juan Manuel Marquez or Morales and you know what I'm saying Morales and, and uh Marco Antonio Barrera, you know what I mean? They had a great tr tr they, these that wasn't even a trilogy. I don't know what you call it, a quadruple, whatever, man. Them fellas fought twice and at least two of them fights was um two of them fights was fight of the year, you know what I'm saying? You know, the man, uh, <coughs> excuse me, you know, <coughs> excuse me, Bazooka, I'm sorry, um, Bobby Chacon's a guy who also fought uh, the one, one or if not the greatest 
uh, bantamweight ever in Ruben Olivares. You know what I'm saying? You know he lost to him twice, but he beat he he beat an agent of fading uh, Ruben Olivares at the end of his career. At the end of Ruben's career, you know what I'm saying? He beat him by decision. You know what I mean? You check it. So you know that's another Hall of Famer he got under his belt. You check it. So, you know, you got to give him props for that, man. I remember Ruben Olivares got him out early in the first time they fought, you know what I'm saying? Or the first time they fought, I think he, he retired him in the second fight. He stopped him early, you know what I'm saying? But the third fight, he won on points, you know what I mean? You check it, the man, um, um, this Bobby Chacon, them fellas fought guys like, you know, he fought, um, what's his name? Um, Bazooka Edwards, Cornelius Bazooka Edwards twice, you know what I'm saying? Um, the first time, um, I, I believe, um, uh, who was the champion? Uh, and, you, you know, I think you, um, uh, I think, uh, Cornelius Boza Edwards was the champion, you know what I'm saying? He was the WBC super featherweight champ. You check it. That's a strap that, um, what's his name used to have? Uh, Alexis Arguello. And actually, um, the man Bobby Chacon, he lost the, um, he's lost the, um, Alexis Arguello, you know what I'm saying? Arguello, I think he... He lost on cuts, you know what I'm saying? Alexis Arguello. That was a fight, a competitive fight up until the cuts, you know what I mean? You know, the man looked like he could, he could, the man Bobby Chacon could have won that fight, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, he lost to Alexis Arguello when he tried to fight for the WBC um, super featherweight strap, you know what I mean? And I saw, like I said, he was also a WBA um, a featherweight champion, even though he ain't keep that belt for long, you know what I mean? I forgot who he beat, but I do know he lost it to um to Ruben Olivares, you know what I'm saying? And that in the in the second fight, you know what I mean? And you know, he fought uh, Cornelius Boza Edwards, a fight he took brutal punishment in. You check it and you know Cornelius Boza Edwards made that man retire. He ain't come out for I think it was the thirteenth or fourteenth round. It was a, a fifteen round fight back in the day, you know what I'm saying? And um, the 19, uh, 1982 fight of the year with Rafael Limon, you know, that fight he was fighting for, um, uh, the, again, the WBC, uh, Rafael Limon um, was the champion, you know what I'm saying? And they was fighting for the WBC super featherweight strap, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, them fellas, uh, he won that fight on points, you know what I mean? I think that was the last time they fought. And, you know, he got a revenge on the man Cornelius Boza Edwards. He beat him in the rematch. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, by points. And, you know, one thing I, I also got to mention, the man also did, he ducked, uh, he did duck, um, what's his name? He ducked um, um, uh, Hector Macho Camacho, you know what I'm saying? Because that fight, that second fight with, um, with uh, what's his name? I think, was it the second fight? Yeah, the second fight with uh, Cornelius Boza Edwards. He was the champ, but he got stripped because he wanted to fight Cornelius Boza Edwards rather than face his mandatory, which was Hector Macho Camacho, you know what I'm saying? And that's why um, the man uh, Hector Macho Camacho, his first world title ever was when he destroyed that man Rafael Limon, you know what I'm saying? I think it was a five, five round, fifth round TKO. You check it, and he de destroyed him in that fight to win the vacant WBC 130-pound strap. That's all, like I said, whenever I think of Bobby Chacon or... Cornelius Bowles Edwards or, you know, even Alexis Arguello, you know, these guys, they, they couldn't get that title if Alexis Arguello stayed at 100 and, um, 130 pounds, you know what I'm saying? It just wasn't happening. These guys, they couldn't beat um, Alexis Arguello. And, uh, and you see, as soon as Alexis Arguello left up and went up to 135 to challenge himself and he beat Jim Watt, you know, all these guys, Bobby Chacon, Rafael Limon, Cornelius Boz Edwards, all, and then, um, um, uh, and Hector Macho Camacho, all the, all four of these guys, they all held that one WBC title. You know, it just kept going round and round for these guys, you know what I mean? But, you know, this guy, like I said, was an entertaining fighter. I think he also fought at lightweight. He went to fight him at, at lightweight against, uh... Uh, what's his name on um, the wait? What's that dude? Um, Ray Boom Boom Mancini, you know what I'm saying? But um, them fellas lost that fight, so he he wanted to be try to become a three time world champion in three different divisions. 
Um, but unfortunately, Ray Boom Boom Mancini wasn't having it that day. But you know, you know, Bobby Chacon, rest in peace, man. The guy was an entertaining fighter. You know, I've seen this uh, that he passed away on ABC News on their website, and you know, they they say it's not known where he passed away or um how he passed away you know what i'm saying but you know if you ask me man I, i'll probably put my money and say it was probably dementia or you, or you know the boxing syndrome where the guy you know getting hit too much in the head you know what i'm saying and you know because the man also had that slurred speech you know what i'm saying and when he won his first world title you know he was known for partying and you know being a you know he was a guy who lost all his riches too by the time he retired you know what i'm saying you know the guy was um Definitely a wealthy man when he fought, you know, but he lost all his riches, you know what I'm saying? And he's gone through a lot of tragedy in his life. You know, I know his, uh, I remember his wife committed suicide, you know what I mean? She shot herself because uh, she wanted him to quit boxing, but he refused. Then his wife shot her, she killed herself with a shotgun, you know what I mean? And then fellas, Bobby Chacon, he still fought that same, I don't know if it was that same night or just a little bit after that. And he went in and he destroyed his opponent, man. And he literally said he wanted to kill his opponent straight up and down because his wife took her own life, you know what I mean? And he went through some more tragedy, you know what I'm saying? I think his son died. I can't remember. It was something dubious, you know what I mean? But, you know, we this video is basically in memory of uh, a great champion, a guy who I definitely think deserves to be in the in the Hall of Fame, you know, because, you know, the man held that uh that w you know two time champion two di division champion uh held that wbc 130 pound strap a few times so you know the guy definitely deserves in my opinion with, and also with all them classic fights he had you know what i mean those fight of the years like with cornelius boza edwards there you go the man from uganda you know what i'm saying uganda got a rich boxing history too don't get it twisted man they had guys who who had boxers, Ayu Kalule, and, and the guy who gave Triple G the hardest fight of his life. What's his name? What the fuck is his name? He had braids, man. What the, What's his name? Ah. Damn, it's going to Kasim you know what I'm saying? Also can't forget him, Cornelius Boza Edwards, even that dude who fought Floyd, uh, Justin Juco, you know what I'm saying? You know, they boxing history goes back to the former dictator and president, uh, Idi Amin, you know? Idi Amin was a guy who used to box for the British Army, you know what I'm saying? You know, he's an Uncle Tom for that, you know, he was a... Uh, Definitely fighting for the British Army against the Uganda, the country is from during, during colonial times, you know what I mean? But, you know, like I said, uh, Idi Amin also was a boxer, you know what I mean? So they got a rich boxing history. Also can't forget about Sharif Bogore, who fights right now, who's on uh, Mayweather Promotions, you know what I mean? A lightweight, you know what I'm saying? 135 pounds, comes in with that big lion mane. So that's my video, man. Bobby Chacon, rest in peace. Great fighter, you gave us great fights. And... We'll definitely um, have you in our memory. All right? This is my video uh, for memory of uh, Bobby Chacon, the schoolboy. Why they call him that, I don't know. But um, thanks for listening. Be Marsh Boxing. Peace.